Hey guys, uh, Daniel back out of the shop. Uh, what I got to do is fix this shooting table. It's uh, it's really a little bit too high when you put the uh, you put the shooting rest on there. It's a little bit too high and it's still a little flimsy. So what I'm gonna have to do is uh, I'm gonna have to uh, cut about three inches off of each leg. And uh, the reason I say that. If I cut three inches off of each leg, you know, I'll be able to sit, I'll be able to sit down in the chair and uh, my knee will be able to clear. So I need to cut about, cut three inches off, that's going to drop it down. Then I can get a better slide in here and uh, get a better purchase because right now it's a little bit too high. So that's what we do. Uh, I built this. If you look at the video, I'll probably put it up here at the top. Uh, where I built this, and I finally painted it, but it just, uh, it's just a hassle because it's been over like this, and then when you're trying to zero it, it makes it kind of tough. So we'll get this thing flipped over and uh, get it fixed, okay? I'm just going to unscrew these screws out. And, uh, so here, what I'm going to do is just take those screws out. I uh, put those across the bottom to help the, for support-wise, but it's still kind of wobbly. I uh, probably need to put some braces uh, up at the top part. But we'll get those out the way. Uh, the holes are already drilled. We'll put them back on and be done. Okay, that's what we'll do. We'll mark it with that. Uh, and then we'll cut out three inches. Then we should be okay. We'll test it out. All right, here's a picture of my jig that I made. Uh, I marked my lines three inches from the bottom. I don't have a, uh, I do not have a chop saw for wood. So I didn't take the legs off to cut them. So I just left them on here. And uh, this jig should keep the saw straight, hopefully. But butt the saw up against here cut here and then cut down on the other end and we'll see what happens uh, when we turn it over all right Hopefully that should get me a straight cut. All right, let's flip it over. We'll do it again on the other side. Well, cutting the three inches off the legs are perfect. You come in here, you can sit right up under it, and it clears the leg and what have you. <clears throat> really good. But when I first built this, I didn't think this through. Actually, it needs to be cut around here so you can get right up on the rifle. You can get up in this area and really side it in or whatever you wanted to do, shoot from the bench. So part of what I'm going to do, I'm probably going to abandon this project, <laughs> just leave this table, because I have to waste too much material to try to fix it. All right, guys, here's an edit, an upgrade. Uh, since I did it all wrong, what I'm going to do is put a piece in. We'll cut this off right here. Then we'll put this post back here. And I'll probably make another foot. I'll probably make another foot. Uh, that's about uh, 24 inches. It'll be three or four screws will be put on there. Well, that two by four is. So they'll butt up together. And then uh, we'll put... I may take two pieces of 2 by 4 and make a stand out the back here. I started to put hinges on it, but really not need it because I'm just going to leave it out there. Of course, I have to paint that. Uh, I still got some more of that black paint. Uh, I finished painting that. But that's what's going to be it. Let me get this cut. I'm going to get this board cut, get some screws in it. Then we'll come and put this uh, end leg on it. And that should do it. That should uh, take care of it and I'll solve my problem. All right, so we got the, uh, got a moth. 
I'm finna do nine month to mill. I'm gonna try to put it dead center. It's a little less than uh, 12 inches wide. But I'm not gonna do anything about it. I will cut it a little six, probably six and three quarter with mark our mill. Let me get a marker here. Crucial, so don't matter. This here is just my jig to get a straight cut. We'll take this off. If you don't have any of those, definitely get you some of those. This here was just my weight. the hex head on them uh, so that you get a good bite. I use a socket or use a torque and I prefer to use a socket. There we go. It's off a little bit. I didn't want to cut that other one off. I need to probably cut a half inch off of it, but it's fine. Okay. Mm. Okay, that's what we wanted. All right, the modification came out pretty good. I was really surprised. Uh, put that brace across the bottom. Two screws on this end, two screws on that end. Uh, number 10 is two and a half. Uh, I'm really surprised how well it came out. The only regret I probably got is I should have used uh, countersunk screws on these on the top, but I didn't think about it at the time. I just grabbed what I had, so I'm going to save you the pain of watching me paint it. I'm going to get my roll in painting, it, but it's sturdy. Look at it. How about that? Okay. Probably need some uh, adjustment screws because. The ground is not flat out there, but I can always take the box blade or the tractor and make it flat, so it's no big deal. All right, I'm going to get some paint and paint it, and then uh, hopefully uh, get out there. Uh, that's a friend's rifle. Maybe I'll get out there and shoot a couple rounds out of it. Okay, good deal. Thank you. Hit that subscribe button.